Oh, she has been a good girl, haven't you, Jill? You can come and stay with me any time you want. Oh, <laughs> So, uh, anyone disgrace themselves at uh, your soiree, then? What do you mean by that, Betty? Oh, one can tell somebody did from tone of your voice. Oh, no. Um, well, the only thing of note was Kelly turning up in not much more than her underwear. Oh, do you know, I worry about that girl. <laughs> See you, look. Oh, I heard about you at that party. What has she been saying? <laughs> now, that's a guilty conscience if ever I saw one. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. She's just winding you up. Seems to be a popular pastime. Hiya. You all right? No. You know, he told me to see if that woman had made contact. Oh, that. It was, um... Well, she did. And guess what? She lives abroad. Oh. Oh. There'll be lots more. The first woman in ages that really interested me. Excited me even. I, I actually plucked up the courage to ask her out on a date. And she lives abroad. Oh, Lisbon. Well, maybe it's as well. Why? It's less complicated. What, you think I should just settle with what I've got? Nothing? No. <laughs> no. Actually, maybe I won't settle for nothing. What do you mean? Blimey, make sure you get your beauty sleep, why don't you? It works, though. Gotta go and see that apprentice priest later about my wedding arrangements. Ethan! Yeah, well, Ashley's gone swanning off somewhere, so we'll have to do. Oh, I'll come. Why? Well, why do you think? I want to be there for you. Any chance of a fight, Louise? D never mind that. You're supposed to be putting a plug on. Oh, look at you two, Mr. and Mrs. Cinderella. I bet you wish a fairy godmother could come and whisk you away from all this. Uh, she definitely fancies you, Leonard. Yeah, she'd been at the gin early. <laughs> she must have been. How would you like to work for a progressive company with fringe benefits, generous remuneration, and friendly ambience? I've already got jobs. Yeah, but are you fulfilling your potential? Well, it suits me. What jobs are we talking about? Oh, it's a dynamic on the up organisation. Don't tell me, not that tack factory, you and Eric Rudder. Right in <laughs> one, almost. It's a design emporium, a chance for you to be at the forefront of fashion. Have you not finished here yet? Mm, think about it. You wouldn't have to put up with that lemon sucker. What's she on about? I think Leonard and me have been headhunted. <laughs> Blimey, it's usually Shadrach waiting on the step. Orange juice, is it? With a vodka in it. A vodka? What is it? Hair of the dog collar. <laughs> oh, he was so bladdered last night. Made a right spectacle of himself. He doesn't drink. Make it a large one, please. Are you okay? Louise, do all your customers get the third degree when they order anything alcoholic? Scott will be impressed when he comes out. With what? You letting the garage go down the pan. It's not my fault if I can't find a decent mechanic. I told him it was no good relying on you to keep things ticking over. The people who've applied almost make Kane look responsible. I know the finest mechanic in the Northern Union, bar none. Who? Lisa. <laughs> Lisa Dingle? She ran that garage single-handed until the Tate's wagon hit the bus. Mm. From what I've heard, it was her fault. Was it techers like? Even though Chris Tate did try to blame it on her. What well, do you think she'd do it? She might. Well, I might give her a ring. You'd be wasting your time, love. She's at Grandma Clegg's. Why don't you say that then? It's called the art of conversation. Hey, and what's this I hear about you cavorting, eh? Showing everything you've got at that party. People said it was very sexy. You know, Majesty. I would have, if I looked like you.
Are you sure you've got enough? Eh? You're booked four weeks on a luxury cruise, kid. There's no way I'm going dressed as little off and Annie. Ah, you're not kidding. Plus, I'll be patronising the exclusive little boutiques they'll have on board. <sighs> Why don't we just have a short break in Wales, eh? <laughs> Hey, maybe you could get yourself a nice blazer and cravat once we're on board. <laughs> I think I'll stick with the cap and the string around the trousers. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing it. Wasn't sure if you'd want to go. Well, I must admit, I did get a bit of a shock. But we've had a terrible year between us. Yeah. Just you and me. <laughs> Look, I'm going to have to tell Paddy that I'm Fireblade. Why? All that Portugal business, I've got to put him off. I'm not so sure. Well, where will Tony get you apart from on the door? You'd think he'd sack me? Well, he might do if he thinks you've made a fool of him. Oh, he's such a decent guy. Well, he'll find someone else if he keeps trawling their net. If I haven't put him off for life. Yeah. I'm going to have to tell him it's me. So, what's up with Ethan? What's your name? Well, he was in here at opening time. You saw him knocking it back like there was no tomorrow. Oh, well, they're all entitled to let her hair down once in a while, aren't they? Oh, yeah? Who's the woman? What woman? Ah, I know the signs, Laurel. I'm an expert. Ethan hasn't got a woman. Maybe he's just fallen for someone who isn't free and it's tearing his world apart because he can't have her. He's fine. Same again. Please. Jimmy or Jimmy Nabru. Never mind that. Just tell that so-called boss of yours to lay off my staff. I don't know what you're on about. That Geordie tramp. I will not have my employees upset. <clears throat> if they can put with you, they can handle just about anything. <laughs> nah. You need to put them in a the vase. Right, what's your stuff? Mm -hmm. She's the one. Oh, just because I'm a dingle. <sighs> Aunt Phyllis has been singing your praises. Yeah, right. You got me out of a very embarrassing pickle in the cafe this morning. Oh, you ignore Viv Windsor. Give her the two pounds fifty I owe. Well, well, I've only got this. Keep the change, love. It's a gratuity. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, that's what you need, young man. Come on, you. Oh. I saw that. Saw what? I'm sorry, I'm late. Look, I really need to tell you something. You're looking at a free man. We have a fear of freedom. Do you know who said that? Um, Marlon Dingle. Yeah, Marlon Dingle, Marlon Dingle. Eric Fromm, he was a philosopher, and that was my problem. I had a fear of freedom, probably down to my overbearing mother, but not anymore. Paddy, the thing is, about the chat room... Well, <laughs> precisely. Because the old Paddy would have given up and resorted to the pies and the pints. But I've been thinking about Max. And this isn't a rehearsal for life, this is it. You get one shot. One shot. I don't think I'm quite with you. No, you won't be, love, because I'm going to venture to Lisbon. Lisbon? Yep, Lisbon. It's the capital of Portugal. I'm going to be ignited by Fireblade. You're going to meet her? Yeah. In fact, I've already been set alight to stretch an analogy. I've booked the flight, confirmed the bar, Lagola, and I've posted a date and a time. Well, you don't even know her. I know, I know, but I feel... I feel as close to her as... as, as you standing there. then well it's the church Viv it's my um it's my place of employment yeah and that's why I'm here I want to discuss my wedding right wouldn't you um rather wait for Ashley well obviously he'll be doing the main event but I just want to get things rolling okie dokie go on well don't sound so enthusiastic Viv wonders if God thinks she's a sinner being divorced and having it off of a vet. <laughs> I didn't say that! <laughs> well, I, I would think so, actually, but then again, not many people really care what God thinks these days, so... What's the matter with him? Um... I don't know. 
If I didn't know him better, I would say he's drunk. He is! You're drunk in charge of a church! Well, I am sorry. I'm going to take my custom elsewhere. Oh, well, there's plenty of choice. It's possible to pick a mix of religions out there. Hmm. Kelly, come on. He's blaspheming me. Well, I'll catch you up. You can't stay here with him. Well, I can't leave him like this. He's kind of a mate. You could learn something from her. Fashion, but I think it comes down to loyalty. How loyal is Nicola to what? I'll tell you when it suits her. She cuts our hours at the drop of her hat and does no holiday pay. We casual. Yes, and so is her attitude to us. Donna, we need your advice. Me? If you had to choose between working for Valerie or Nicola, who would you choose? Neither. One of them's mental, the other one's just gross. <laughs> Come on, don't wrap it up, love. Tell us what you're really. Well, they're both nearly as bad as my mum. <laughs> oh, well, I've got a point there. <laughs> well, that didn't get us very far. Look, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play one against the other. Then we'll see which one we can squeeze the most out of. That's a bit devious. <laughs> Market forces. Right. Have you two decided whether you've had enough of being hoover jockeys? Hmm. We'll buy us a pot of tea and a couple of scones and we'll tell you. You drive a hard bargain. Mm-hmm. Don't skimp on the butter, Donna, love. Shouldn't you have coffee or something? Why? Want to have this? Well, you're going to get into trouble. As if you're bothered. <laughs> I am, if you must know. I like you. Yeah. Someone to take the mickey out of. There's more to me than that. Just like there's more to you than that dog collar. Would you like some? You know, I do believe I've shocked you, Kelly. You, the unshockable. The shocker. Why should I be shocked? You're just sad. Well, I'm glad you hung around to offer sympathy, thanks. I don't do sympathy. No. But you are right. I am sad. As empathetic. Maybe, but also as in the true sense of the word, to be unhappy, because I am deeply unhappy. And drunk. Well, I may be drunk, but only because I am unhappy. You know, Kelly, you are a very pretty young woman. I didn't think you'd noticed. How could I not? Do you know what I want more than anything else in this life? Hmm? What I need is to hold a woman, to be held by a woman who doesn't back away, to forget about years of praying and reciting and all that guilt stuff, to partake in, no, no, to enjoy the sins of the flesh. So what's stopping you? What? With you? Here? Now? What's stopping you? I pay you 50p an hour more than her. Quit. 75, my final offer. Go on then, but with holiday pay. After six months' service. How much holiday? A week. Two. Why not? I like to look after my staff. So, I look forward to a long working relationship. Is that it? Well, I'm hardly going to write off for references, am I? I'll let you know about your starting date. Yeah, but, but what about Nicola? Well, what about Nicola? Well, she need to be told. Oh, don't fret, pets. I'll do it. Nothing would give me more pleasure. <laughs> do you know, I think I handled them negotiations well. So did your new boss. She never paid for your scones or her own drink. Uh, you see, that's your capitalist class for you. Sorry, sorry. Do you have to prune your nasal foliage while I'm doing tea? Hold the line. 
Hey, I've been thinking. I know what's going to take your mind off all this chat room malarkey. Oh, shut up. I didn't think I was obsessed by it. You, me, and anybody else who fancies it, big session leaves this Saturday. This Saturday? Midday till midnight, then a takeaway and chuck up in the cab home. Can't. Oh, come on, get a look, I mean. I'm going to Portugal. What? Yeah, right. Where did Portugal come from? Booked it. Portugal? Yeah, I'm going to go and see my cousin Jason. Portugal? Oh, no, I can't work then. It's Junior's group at the church. It's all hands to the deck, Laurel. Um, I'll put you down for three hours and get Pearl to do some extra. <sighs> Drunk as a skunk in the house of God he was. I'm sure he wasn't that bad. And there I was, trying to discuss the most important day of my life. What, since the last time you married Bob? I'm going to have to have a word with that Ashley Thomas. Isn't he lucky? What's the matter, Viv? That curate. Drunk and incapable in charge of a church. <gasps> Are you sure? I told you he was losing it. I bet he couldn't see what's that. But what about the work? No, I'll see you later, Nick. What are you doing sitting there? Well, it's a poor show for us business women can't be sociable. Hey, we should form a luncheon club or something. Oh, that's your cleaning roster, if I'm not mistaken. Very efficient. Oh, you can scrub those two off. This is confidential. Well, I'm just trying to give you pre-warning that Len and Pearl won't be available, seeing as they've joined my team. And if you don't believe us, just ask them. Val, do us a favour. Watch the bar. I'm going to say goodbye to Diane. Oh, I want to say tra to her. Not a good idea. You don't trust her with the till, do you? Yeah, of course. Don't dip in the till. I feel terrible. Is that what you call pillow talk? No, not at all. My head is throbbing. Mm -hmm. Is it? And I feel guilty. I've got the cure for that. Somehow, I doubt that. Mm. Whenever I've done something I shouldn't, like boozing underage or going with someone and feeling bad about it, you know, kind of thing that gives you sleepless nights. Well, I don't think I'll sleep with a sound conscience again. Mm. I'll tell you what works for me. It never fails. Do whatever you feel bad about again and again. Like being hung for a sheep as a lamb. Whatever. Have you told you about going to Portugal? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do him good. Oh, I thought you were against him making a date on the web. No, I am. But it'll do him good to fly out and see his cousin. He probably needs a break. His cousin? Yeah, Jason, he used to live here. No, he's going to meet Fireblades in Portugal. He... The sly dog. Look, you've got to talk him out of it. Well, he's not listened to a blind word I've said so far, and he's a grown-up, I suppose. Look, you mustn't let him go, Marlon. Why is it such a big deal to you? Are you sure you're going to be all right? Of course. I can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. Oh, that's me, Todd. Thanks for everything. What are you thanking her for? Watch out for her, won't you? Yeah. Victoria, keep an eye on Louise. What do you mean? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Mm. It is not what it looks like, um... No. It's unethical, unprofessional, un... un... something else. Why can't you just compromise? Because I've won. I'm not backing down. Uh, Len and Pearl are proud people. Not gonna be trekked like bits of meat, you know. And if you keep upping the ante, you're both gonna lose out. Why don't you just have one each? That way neither of you lose. We're seeing your Jace. Yeah, yeah. Oh.
You saw what we see in the chat room, Totty. Fireblade is not Totty Fireblade. I knew it. Well, if it doesn't work out, then I'll go and spend a few days with Jason. You know this is a bad idea. Otherwise, you would have kept it so quiet. I kept it so quiet because I knew you'd go on like an old woman. <gasps> I'm all in England. <laughs> If you'd listened to me in the past, you wouldn't have bedded Viv Windsor and destroyed your marriage. We all make mistakes. And this is another one, Paddy. I'm not stupid. Well... You've just increased your cred by 100%. What, by sleeping with a harlot? What? By behaving no better than a stray dog, which for you and your elk is a way of life. You couldn't get enough of me. If I offered you again now, you'd say yes. If you're up to it. I only went with you because I couldn't have her! You liar! Don't blame me because you've been found out! All that holier than thou stuff is just a front! You're no better than me. You're worse. You're a stinking hypocrite! And to think I liked you. <laughs> <laughs>